you guys. So I did go to Walgreens this afternoon um, and it went beautifully for me. Um, and just to show you, I grabbed six of the Cottonelles and I think the store had 10 altogether. So I didn't clear the store. I wanted to use a balance of my, um, the coupons that I had with me along with the points that I had to get a very low out of pocket. And it was a very small out of pocket for me. Um, so this just worked out beautifully. It was like a dollar sixty. So that's what it's all about. As you can see on the receipt, six of them for two forty nine. Again, it's not tagged, but I asked the cashier to scan one in, and that's what it was ringing up for. I had a um, the four off of four or the four dollar off um, store coupon uh, from the Dove deal, and then I had four dollar coupons from the um, Smart Source of April the eleventh, and then I had one digital coupon. So that's what I used. And as you could see, everything worked out beautifully for me. And as I had um, six of these, if I had six coupons, I would need the cashier to scan each one um, separately so the coupons would attach. I would absolutely move on this deal sooner than later because it will get cleared whenever you can get uh, paper products for 75% off. I mean, it is an unheard of price. Now, just to jog you through this again, at my store, uh, it was uh, priced at uh, 2 for 16 or $9.99 for one. And if it's ringing up full price at your store, you might want to go on Saturday afternoon and get the cashier to scan it again. Because clearance schedules are usually either on a Tuesday or a Saturday, or they can coincide and be at the same time. But you physically have to go into the store, grab one of these and ask the cashier to scan it to let you know yay or nay. Um, so there's no magic answer here other than you got to put a little bit of work into this. So if you're driving by a Walgreens, maybe stop in and you might be surprised and it might not even be tagged, uh, which is absolutely crazy. Now, something I didn't mention in my video from earlier, there is a dollar digital coupon. I loaded this, I believe about two weeks ago and yes, it is in fact attaching to this product. So it would drop one of them down to a dollar 49 if you don't have any of those dollar coupons. So some extra savings for you. So how great is that? So at the very least, grab one of these for a dollar 49. I mean, how great is that? Now, just to show you the UPC and only this purple one at this location as well. So I know a lot of you might be a little shy or you're just not really sure. So, you know, if you can at least line this up, you know, you're grabbing the right product and ask the cashier to scan it either at the at checkout or they have a handheld price checker called a zebra. And because that is the name on it, that's why it's called a zebra. And they will let you know what the price point is. And again, at my store, it wasn't tagged and there was a lot there. So um, I might uh, moonwalk down there. I think probably the staff will just clear it at that price point. But I mean, this is just amazing. And this is the time to really use your store coupons, register rewards and Walgreens cash when something is this cheap, because it is like amazing. Now, one of you in the video I posted a little while ago, said, hey, uh, there's also a 75 cent rebate on Ibotta. And so I went and checked it out and boom, here it is. There's a 75 cent rebate. And I took a photo of my receipt and it went to Ibotta, no problems, no issues. And I got 75 cent back. So this is the deal that absolutely just keeps on giving. Um, and then the last uh, rebate app that I utilized for this deal is the Fetch Rewards app. And I got 149 points. So um, my total was six sixty. I used five dollars in Walgreens cash, so I paid a buck sixty for six of these. A loss of five dollars of Walgreens cash. I got seventy five cents back from Ibotta. This from Fetch Rewards. I mean, it's terrific. Now, um, just to explain a little something to you guys, because uh, <laughs> if you like a story time, I'll just share something quickly. When I went to the store, um, there was a staffer that works um, in a different department working on the cash register. And when she saw this coupon, she's not a regular cashier. She basically told me like, hey, one coupon per purchase means you can only use one because I had four of these. Um, and she was like, you can only use one. And I, and I only had four because that's all I had clipped and I was kind of rushing around. So that's why I was one short um, for a lot of you that are like, why did you only use four? That's why. So I used four papers and I had one digital and then I had one store coupon as well. But 
I didn't need uh, a filler item for that store coupon. You could just use it as um, an IVC. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. With this coupon, she only wanted to, to allow me to use one. And uh, one coupon per purchase means you can only use one, which is incorrect. Um, one coupon per purchase means if I'm purchasing six, I can use up to six. Because there is no cap on this one or anything written like one coupon per purchase per customer per day. It's not in this. It just says one coupon per purchase. And then I can't combine this with another manufacturer coupon. And so instead of getting all crazy uh, with this cashier, um, I just basically asked for the manager. The manager came by and she's like, yes, we can use um, all four. And it wasn't an issue scanned all four and then I was on my merry little way but it was a little bit of a standstill for a bit and I kept my cool I didn't start you know swearing and cussing and getting all excited I knew what I was doing and that you know I wasn't misusing this coupon but it was just one of these things that sometimes when people read the coupon quite literally and it's written in old English which makes it hard to explain um, the one coupon per purchase one but I'm buying six, thus I can use six of these. But it was just hard to explain, but thankfully very nice manager allowed um, the four that I was using to be used. And um, even if they were gonna just limit me to one, what I would have done was just use my Walgreens cash to pay down the balance. And I had one $4 store coupon to use as well. But it was kind of a tense little moment. And I just wanted to, to tell this to you guys because I think that sometimes it seems like I'm always having the easiest time over at Walgreens. But sometimes that's just not the case. Um, and today is point in fact, you know, just somebody who's not familiar with the coupon policy, put it the front. And then they start with, well, this is what I think. And it's like, well, no, let's get the manager up here. And thankfully, I was able to get the deal today. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about, if you are a Meyer shopper, I have a quick little deal on the Baby Lips, uh, which is a Maybelline product. Now, I did not personally go and do this deal. I've just had a crazy week, but I've seen this on a couple people on Instagram who do Meyer deals. So I wanted to share it with you guys um, in case you might be in the neighborhood of Meyer and want to do this deal. So the Maybelline Cosmetics this week is when you buy two, you have $5 of instant savings. And yes, the baby lips are in fact part of it. So these guys are $3.09 each. So for this deal, you're gonna have to find at least two of them. Hopefully your store still has a bunch of them. And then we also have this manufacturer coupon dubbed as an M perk, which is a dollar off two, and it's actually qualifying for the baby lips. So grabbing two of the baby lips, guys, that's $6.18. The five off of two automatic savings will come off. For the five off of two, that's automatic, so you don't have to load or mess around with anything. You do have to load that dollar off two M perk, though, just to note that. So after all of the magic of the five off of two and the dollar off two, you're paying 18 cents for the two or nine cents per baby lip. So that is a really good price point if you're trying to stock up. And this isn't a really, like, heavy sort of makeup. It's just, you know, it's quite subtle or you could even get the peppermint one that's just kind of like a lip balm. So nine cents is a killer price. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to share as Mother's Day is going to be here in a couple of weeks, um, near all of the fun little cards, um, you know, they have the card section. They have these really adorable sponges. They had a lot of them by this company named Fred. And it was like shaped like food. And I thought this was so cute. I got this for my mom. It's a bunch of sushi and she will love this. And it's $6.99 for the three. I think they had an avocado one for like $2.99. Just some really cute stuff. So if you have a parent who's impossible to buy a Mother's Day gift for, this might be a really cute thing. Like I, I just think it's absolutely adorable. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.